Hello everyone, if you're just jumping in, this video is actually part four in a four-part series on seven life-changing strategies to change our spending habits. I've been investing time into transforming our relationship with consumerism. And today, we're wrapping it up with the final two essential strategies, number six and number seven. If you've been with us from the start, no doubt you've already taken significant steps towards a life less defined by consumerism. And if you're just joining us here, I'd recommend starting at video one. I'll put a link in the description below. So far, we've talked about recognizing the benefits of owning less, identifying our buying triggers, limiting advertising inputs, considering the full cost of our purchases, and embracing gratitude and generosity. Each strategy has brought us closer to understanding and reshaping our habits in order to live a more fulfilling life. So let's dive into strategy number six, see money differently. This strategy is about reevaluating the role money plays in our lives. It's a powerful tool but its true value lies in how we choose to use it. Here is an important truth. Your money is only as valuable as what you choose to spend it on. Think of it this way. Let's say you have a sum of money, enough for a high-end gadget, like a new television. If you buy the television, that is what your money was worth. And that's certainly one option that you have with it. But let's say that same amount could also be spent to fund a family getaway. The same amount of money could have been used to create lifelong memories, spark important conversations, and strengthen lifelong relationships. Or let's take this even a step further. That same amount of money could provide meals to someone on the other side of the globe, contribute to a scholarship fund for underprivileged kids, provide essential aid to a family in need, allow a single parent down the street to hire a babysitter, support an addiction recovery group in your neighborhood. In other words, that same money could help alter someone's life trajectory permanently. So here's what I mean by see money differently. What value do we want our money to hold? We can spend it merely on acquiring more things, or we can use it as a tool for creating meaningful experiences and even solving real problems that we see in the world, but we can't use it for both. And the more we think and reflect on that, the more likely we are to change our shopping habits in positive ways. So here are some practical steps for you to take this week to embrace this strategy. Number one, count up your last month of spending. Take some time this week, look back at your receipts, credit card statements, your Amazon order history, and get a quick idea of exactly how much money you spent on buying stuff over the last month. And then number two, make a list of things other than physical possessions that that money could have been spent on. Would it have been enough to take that weekend vacation with your family you've been wanting to do? Look at your favorite charity and consider how much difference that amount of money could have made to what they do. Bring to mind a family in your life that you know is struggling financially and consider how many of their needs could have been met with that money. And the third way to implement this strategy this week is to plan one purposeful purchase. The next time you plan to buy something non-essential, pause and ask yourself specifically, where could I spend this money instead that would make it worth more? And then one time, one time this week, don't make the purchase and immediately give the money elsewhere instead. And see how this shift in your spending affects your sense of fulfillment in life. By seeing our money differently, 
we open up ourselves to a world of possibilities that go beyond consumer goods. We start to understand that every dollar we spend could be an investment in the kind of world we want to live in and the kind of life we want to live. And with that, I do hope you have found these ideas to be absolutely life-changing. So let's move on to our seventh and final point in this series. Seven life-changing strategies to change your spending habits. Strategy number seven. Decide today to live forever free and forever changed. This specific step isn't necessarily about adopting new habits or perspective. It's simply about making one decisive, life-altering choice. It's the moment where we plant our feet firmly on the ground, where we drive a stake in the ground and boldly declare to ourselves, I am never going back to my old way of living. I am never going back to a life filled with my old shopping habits. This is where, at a specific moment in time, we reject the empty promises of consumerism and decide to embrace a richer, more meaningful life instead. So today, right now, as you watch this video, I encourage you to make that decision. Notice where you're sitting, the time of day, the environment around you. I want you to be able to relive this moment in your mind in the future. Decide today that you will live forever free and forever changed. Not just for a moment and not just for a season, but for the rest of your lifetime. You have so much potential in this world. Embrace it fully. Again, this decision isn't about choosing to declutter your home or get rid of stuff that you don't need. It's about fundamentally changing how we view the world, how we view our money, how we spend our time, and the potential we see in ourselves. We're not just talking about easier housekeeping here. We're talking about a new way of life, a new way of being. Now certainly, making this decision today doesn't mean that we'll never again buy something we don't need or that our homes will never accumulate with stuff. One specific decision doesn't make us perfect forever but it does mark a pivotal moment in our lives, a decision point where we can look back and say, that was the day I chose a different path, a better path, and I began living a new life. I wanna thank you for being part of this four-part series. Thank you not just for watching, but for sharing it with others. The response has been absolutely amazing. Before I end, I want to quickly recap the seven life-changing strategies that we can all embrace to change our spending habits. Number one, recognize and articulate the benefits of owning less. Number two, find the culprit behind our excessive purchasing. Number three, limit the input of consumer-driven messages. Number four, consider the full cost of our purchases. Number five, embrace gratitude and generosity. Number six, see money differently as a tool that can be used for a greater good. And finally, number seven, decide today to live forever free and forever changed. These strategies are more than just quick hit tips that you might read or see elsewhere. These strategies are a roadmap to a life of intention, purpose, and freedom. A life where we're not driven by the desire for more, but by the pursuit of what truly matters. You have the power to live beyond the constraints of consumerism. And so let's embrace that power together. Stay inspired, keep growing, and from this point forward, live your best life, forever changed and forever free.